Hey folks, this is Queso here. I am going to do a test. I I know I did it. I did this before. It may or may not have made it in some of my videos. I don't. I deleted a whole bunch of footage because um, I had got backlogged. But uh, what I'd like to do is test out yields and whether or not you should be um, fertilizing at the time of. Uh, planting or fertilizing during the crop growth and then also um, yeah or multiple times through the crop growth so I'm going to lay down a couple strips um, here and we'll do a, a bunch of different tests so my uh, the first one here I'm going to leave this as default you can see some of that ground is wet from fertilizer so I'll stay away from it um, so I'll lay down a lay down some seed and right now we have um, canola selected so I'm just gonna too fast so I'm gonna drive across and uh, and plant it I guess maybe to keep it consistent I'll use uh, um, a farmer all right so there's that one there's one for um, no fertilizer, although it's, see, there's a little tiny little bit at the end there, but that shouldn't shouldn't make any difference, or, or very little. Um, and my field's not a hundred percent square, but you know, if it's if it's within a hundred or two on on this pass, um, you know, or, or, or however many liters, I would say within a hundred or two hundred liters, that's not going to make. Uh, much of a difference, so um, it's probably not even going to be that much with that little tiny strip. It'll be a little, just a little bit. So here's what I'm going to do. Again, like I said, so the first one, far left one, will be no fertilizer. The second one there is going to be fertilizer when. Oh, derp. The next one will be fertilizer when. Uh, put down, and then I'll speed up the time, I'll wait for uh, the first stage of growth, and uh, there's an example of when your field is too close to trees, how your hired workers end up getting stuck. Um, so what was I saying? Oh yeah, so I'll, I'll speed up, I'll pause the video, speed up time, wait till the first uh, stage of growth hits, and then... Uh, I'll fertilize them, I'll slow the time down, fertilize them, just, you know, make a quick pass over top, and then speed up the time and so on until we get crop, uh, the crop is ripe, and uh, and then we'll harvest and we'll see what, how much it puts in the combine um, from just the one strip, and, uh, oh yeah, right, I was going to put one down. Uh, I was gonna lay one. Right. Do one while fertilized while being laid down. Okay. So let's lower my seed G and turn it on. Okay, and then we'll use this and go across. Yeah, I spread them out because the uh the sprayer actually hits a pretty big distance and if this turns out, if the yield turns out well, because this is how I've been doing it all along here where you just spray as you're um, laying your seed it, it, it works well, you just put a sprayer on the front of your tractor and your seed on the back or you could do vice versa, it depends, but I know some of the trailers or some of the seeders end up being um, uh, I was going to say, uh, I have like a, a hitch on them and a, an arm so you can't really put them on the front or else they, they turn. So anyway, that's this is all I wanted to do. So we've got uh, the second last one here is uh, fertilized while it was planted and I'll leave it. I won't um, fertilize it again. I guess the last one there on the end I'm not going to use either.
Um, so these two here, I'll do one, this will be one fertilize, uh, one spray of fertilizer, and this one, this third row will be two or three, depending on, uh, um, I forget how many growth cycles there are, or how many stages, so, anyway, I'm going to pause, wait for this stuff to, uh, grow, and, uh, I'll do get this lined up to fertilize uh, these two rows. Alright. Okay, so we've got uh, the first stage of growth has happened. Um, so we're going to go, I'm going to go ahead and spray this second row and the third row and uh, and then pause again. But I did want to point out that um, the uh, first row there isn't uniform. I didn't. I did that myself instead of hiring a worker. Um, so I don't. I don't know why. Maybe it has to do with it not being square. Anyway, so I'm going to um, not use that row. I'm going to use the uh, the last row you can see on the other side of the initial uh, or the the stuff sprayed with. Uh, while uh, planted. So I'll use that fire one there to the left of the tractor as my control and, uh, and then we'll see what happens. So this row here that I just did I'm going to spray it again at the next crop stage and uh, I guess I guess I'll do it at the like at each one just to see like I know the manual just says you don't you don't need to do that but I'll uh, I'll do that just to see if that makes any difference so if it does spraying it up different crop stages we should see a difference between this row here and the one the first sprayed one so um, all right I'm gonna pause and speed it up okay we have had another a level of crop growth. I know it do doesn't necessarily look like it, but there was. It just uh, changed. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a spray. And it's just one simple pass on this. I'm go and I'll stay at, at speed level one for consistency. Um, so yeah, it's be interesting. I'm sure people have already done this on their own and confirmed, but. Uh, I figured it would be worthwhile having some video proof. Alright, so there's another spray at uh, that growth level. And so I'll go, go back here. So I'm doing it on the same side each time. And uh, I'm going to pause and spray at the next level. Alright, and here we are again. New. Uh, change that. Another uh, level, or growth level, so. Um, let's turn it on and fertilize this biznatch. So the reason why I'm selecting cruise control speed one, I know I could probably just zoom along at three, is I believe it seeds. I'll have to confirm this, but I believe that the, the uh, it seeds the uh, field at at that level or speed, I should say. So I wanted to to, to Try and mimic what it would the speed of fertilizing it m the same as when you plant your crops. I anyway. noticed too that that one's got a kink in it. So hopefully, hopefully our yield results will be conclusive enough. I guess you could say to uh, d to determine uh, and have good results. I think uh, my guess is that. There's going to be no difference between this one and the second one there. Um, that spraying it multiple times through the different growth um, seasons or stages, let's go with stages, um, will uh, will make there will be no difference. Um, I'm hoping there's no difference between these two and the fertilizing while planting because it's. It's a. Uh, it's very convenient to attach a fertilizer on. Oh, let me speed that up. Fertilizer on your tractor and seed your field, so you do it all at the same time. Because you can't, unless I haven't seen it yet, you can't hire a worker to spray your field. So uh, it's one that you have to do yourself. And because your yield 
um, is better, you definitely want to spray or put manure on, whatever the case may be. Um, so uh, it's you, ha you have to do it, and you know, if you don't, you're just basically wasting wasting money. And the nice thing too is when you um, hire a worker, you don't use the same amount of fertilizer and seed it must be built into the hiring costs because um, it doesn't it doesn't cost you anything to like you'll see when you hire a worker the, f the fill bar there with the second bar the yellow um, doesn't move very much at all so anyway I'm gonna pause and stop boring you <laughs> and I'm back that was really funny I uh, paused it and then, as soon as I paused, it, the uh, the next growth level was there. So, um, I think this is the second last one, or no? Maybe this is the final one. Anyway, I'll uh, I'm gonna hit the map and and see. I've been doing barley lately, so I don't know. I'm not overly familiar. So let me slow down the time so we don't run into. Um, crop. Yeah, see the green lines? Green means it's ready to harvest. So, Okay, so here we go. Let's uh, get out the the crappy combine. This thing's just friggin' terrible. I hate this machine. So you can see, I know if any of you guys have been watching my uh, Let's Play series, I stopped on like episode 4 and I had way less money and way less equipment. So I've been uh, buying or, or uh, just trying to get some more money to uh, so I can buy the next level harvest harvester or combine. I have the uh, the blade for it already, but I want to get the. I'm saving up. I think it's like two hundred sixty-five thousand, so um, so I can make harvesting a lot faster. Because it's honestly, it's so irritating. This piece of crap. Like you get if you join these fields six. And and 16 and 17, I think there, you don't get um, like you can get like down one, one and maybe a quarter pass, depending on the crop and you know and obviously the yield. So, oh shoot, I dropped that off. So there we are. So 261 um, liters for one pass. Uh, and one spray. So this was the one that was sprayed as soon as I saw the plants, not uh, with the seed. So I'm gonna dump this out, and I think I'll do the control as well um, at the end. So I'm also going to... I want to write this down on a piece of paper as well. I guess it doesn't really matter because I can see it in my video. Right. So the other reason why I don't like this combine, because it's... <laughs> yes, I know I'm way too close, but it uh, doesn't give... It doesn't have a whole lot of height on the uh, on the arm. Okay, so uh, we'll go down to the end and see. So while I'm doing that, let me... Let's grab my pen here. Okay, let's hire a worker. Now, how many did I do? I did one, two, three, four, five rows. This first one's 260. Okay, so this is the control. No fertilizer, no nothing. Oh, and you can already tell, look, we're almost at the end of the, the row. And it is... Hundred and nine. So it's definite already you can tell that spraying fertilizing it at least once yields double, more than double. And it, I mean you could argue saying that uh, it had a, a kink or so in it, um, you know, or or the field is a little bit longer, but still that's pretty friggin' good yield. That's what I was talking about. If the yield is that there's that much difference, you know it made a difference. And I could I could harvest this one too.
just for a double control, I guess, if you want to say. So let's take a look and see. Yeah, like I already know. I, yeah, it's definitely. I mean, th that's part of the game too. They say if you don't fertilize, you're not going to get the the same amount of yield, and and it's true. Yeah. So th I mean, I know I missed that little strip, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna worry about it. Um, well, no, I'll do it, and then that way, and then that way it's done. So the first one was. The last row there, the last control was 109. This guy, come on. The other thing about this uh, combine that sucks is it's so slow. The turn, like you'll find when you upgrade to the the next combine. I'm going. I'm skipping the f first green combine, and I want to buy. Uh, I'll just show you which one I was talking about. No, I'm digressing here. Oh, shoot. Harvesters, right? So, I'm skipping this one here, and I'm going right to... Uh, this one, but isn't this the... Yeah, yeah, that's right. This this is the one I'm going with, so... It's a little bigger, so 7.2 meters versus 5.4. It's all about getting the crops off the field quicker. Um, I downloaded a mod and I'm going to install it and do a review on it um, for to remove the um, crops from decaying or going bad, and uh, like so that's why I slowed the the time down so that we didn't we didn't have that problem. So anyway, um, but the big you know the big combine so 112 is what we got 112 liters from that from that field. So very, very close to the f the other control at 109. Oh, I'm sorry, it's my my ADD kicking in, jumping around to different topics. But anyway, yeah. So y harvesting, you know, you'll find that that the newer combines they pick up, they got a lot more torque, and they and they move faster. So um, it just and they just make a nicer nicer job of getting it done they carry more so you you can actually go and do other stuff um, in between you know and it'll it'll harvest more and longer so all right so this is the one where we sprayed at the same time we at the same time of, of seeding so we are already better than the control um, and the uh, other the second row there, the one that had a spraying of uh, at the site of first crop level um, was 261 liters, and so this one's going to be comparable. Um, the fact that uh, we're not—I mean, we're not 100 percent—but you can tell. Like, look at this strip. How, look at all the the curves in it. So there's probably some missing. Um, so this one yielded me uh, 224 liters, but there's a tiny little strip here. Let me grab it just to to say we've we've gotten them all. So 225 liters for it, and I would say that that's um, that's equivalent so so far spraying while seeding versus spraying after the first crop stage um, is equivalent and you know somebody may argue that but I can tell like this strip here that we're looking at is thicker and and consistent all the way across whereas that one that I just harvested is not so um, to me that's that shows that it was it was an equal yield so whether you fertilize it after you see the crop growth or while seeding makes no difference all right so here's the test this is the the real one I wanted to to test is does it make a difference if you fertilize the line up better um, fertilize the field either multiple times 
and or later in the stage or the crop stages. Um, my guess is no. I'm, I'm guessing it's not that complicated of a calculation. <clears throat> it would be kind of neat too if you ran into a situation of over over fertilizing and it basically killed. Hmm, interesting. So that one was 219. 219. Versus 225 on the, w the one to the right here. And this one over here was 265. So, yeah, it is only one strip. It's interesting. I don't know if... <laughs> it's only one strip, so the the amount that we're going to get is, is a lot lower. Um, my opinion is this. So, this one yielded 261... 261 liters is a continuous strip all the way across. The inconvenience of spraying after, you know, having to do it manually was a little bit of a pain. This one here yielded 225. I'm willing to bet that if this had been a solid strip all the way across, the same width, we would have ended up with the same yield. So it looks like that. Yeah, because I mean it's only forty, basically forty liters off in the distance or in the difference, and uh, it's less than forty liters, and and this is the same width all the way across. Like, it'd be different if it if it was the same thickness up until it je you know shifted over a little bit, and then the same thickness. I don't know how many how many bars or whatever you want to count in there. I don't know ten of them in the seed strip. But if it was the same, I guarantee that that would be the same yield. So it looks like um, it. My conclusion is, and you guys can agree or disagree. Post your maybe you have different findings. If you have a video, post it in the comments. Um, that s fertilizing while seeding, like I have on my tractor here, attaching this, you know, a seeder and a fertilizer to it at the same time, um, is the most efficient way to. Uh, Plant and fertilize your field, and doing it at the s at the time of um, right at the beginning. Anyway, I hope that was helpful for you guys, and uh, don't forget to subscribe and like. Later.